look at this drawing. Now, at first glance, there doesn't really seem to be anything wrong with it. In fact, there's nothing wrong with it. It looks fine just the way it is. But, it could be better. So join me, your host, Surge Protector, as I show you one thing I like to do to make my drawings better. <laughs> Okay, so right here we're looking at this drawing right here and it's like obviously it looks nice it looks very nice you know the drawing is rendered pretty well or as well as to my ability and it's it's just an overall wholesome piece wholesome Christmas piece that I made over Christmas but there's one thing that I like to do that like ends up making it look a little better and if you could look over here I don't know if you could tell but like the line art it's just all in black. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to that line art layer. Yeah, so right here, folder three. You can name your line art layer whatever you want, but I'm just gonna select it here. And what I like to do is I like to make a new layer and especially um, what you'd like to do is you would wanna work on the hues here. So there's like a whole lot of purple going on here and a lot of the shading having to do with blue. So what I'd like to do is use the eyedropper, grab a little bit of that color darken it a little bit. I like using blue as for shading because it looks hella good. So we're just gonna take that selection and fill it in on that new layer. There we go. And we're gonna remove the selection as you can see. The shading is blue and you may be wondering why would you want to do something like that to to your line art. Well for one it makes the line art hella soft on certain areas in terms of it blends in with the environment a bit more if that's the type of effect you're going in with but another thing that i like to do to go a step further is i will select said layer that has the line art and i'd like to press this little trusty button right here that says lock transparent pi pixels so once that's done i'm if say i wanted to go in here with the color white i am able to do so without ruining any of the other pixels around it because i'm locking it to only a specific set of pixels so let me just go forth and erase this right here because that's not supposed to be covered i don't know why it's a part of the line art but anyways let's go back to the airbrush and what we can do is on areas that are light and like the brightest color here is not even white it's yellow so we're just gonna go in with a bright yellow for lighting. The lighting's coming up from this area. I don't know if the cursor picks it up. I hope it does. But we're just gonna go in and lightly shade the areas where there's yellow. And if I feel that we are going a little too hard, we just erase some of it with our trusty tool. Just enough so that the light looks convincing and this should be just about good yeah so this would be what it would look like with shaded in line art and here's without It makes a difference in terms of making your object blend in with the rest of the image. I like doing it because it looks cool. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the final image right now. Yeah, those lines look pretty good. Yeah, overall, in my opinion, I think colored line art does make a difference in terms of the art I make. It may not work for you. It may work for you. This is just something that I like doing. Anyways, this is all I wanted to share with you guys. Until next time, the name's Surge Protector. I'll see you next time.